Hi folks, we're going to take a look at question 15c from page 104. So they're asking us to determine the distance uh, between the following parallel lines. So it's clear that these are uh, parallel lines since the direction vectors are in fact the same. Uh, now what we have is a formula for finding the distance between a point and a line in 3D. Okay, so if I have a line and I have a point, I have a formula to find this distance, in other words, the shortest distance from the point to line. Okay? Instead, now what we have is we have two parallel lines. But what I want you to think about here is that if I consider any point on this line above and consider its distance to the other line, or I take any other point on this second line and consider its distance to the first line, okay, we notice it's always the same. It's always going to give us the shortest distance between these two parallel lines. So that gives us a way to solve this problem. Okay, so for example, let's say we take this line as being 2, negative 1, negative 2, plus t times 7, 3, negative 4. Okay, all we need is any point on this line here to use to find that distance. So why don't I use point to negative 2, 2, 1. So I'm going to use this point here, negative 2, 2, 1. So if we think of the uh, formula that we came up with, I'll call this P, okay? I need to join it to any point Q, okay, to form a vector. So here for my point Q, why don't I just use 2, negative 1, negative 2, okay? And then we can use our formula. Okay, so the idea here, remember, is we created a right angle triangle and we use the fact that sine theta appears in the uh, cross product uh, formula to find this equation for the distance. Okay, I take the magnitude of the cross product between this vector PQ, okay, with the direction vector of the line I'm finding the distance to, in this case here. I'll just uh, the same in either one, but uh, cross product with the direction vector and then divided by the magnitude of the direction vector. Okay, so this is the formula we found and we see that we can apply it equally well uh, for this problem of two parallel lines. Okay, so let's start by finding PQ. Okay, so here we have uh, 2 minus negative 2, so that's 4. Then negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. And then negative 2 minus 1 is also negative 3. Okay, so we have PQ. We have M, of course, is equal to 7, uh, 3, negative 4. Okay, and let's find the cross product of these. Okay, so 4 and 7. And so the cross product, PQ cross M, will be equal to, okay, so here we have uh, 12 minus negative 9, so 12 plus 9 is 21, okay, then here we have negative 21 uh, minus negative 16, so negative 21 plus 16, so that's uh, negative 5, and then here we've got 4 times 3, 12 minus negative 21, so 12 plus 21, which would be 33. Okay, so there's our uh, cross product. Okay, so we can now find the magnitude of this cross product. Okay, so that is uh, 21 squared plus 5 squared plus 33 squared. Okay, and divide that by the magnitude of M, which is just going to be uh, 49 plus 9 plus 16. Okay. And I think I'll get my calculator out for this calculation here. Okay, so let's see what we have. We have uh, 21 squared plus 5 squared plus 33 squared. Okay, so here we have the square root of 1555. Okay, and in the denominator we've got uh, 49 plus 9 plus 16. Okay, square root of 74. Okay, so we look here, and really nothing we can do with the denominator. Uh, I guess we can try to find a simplification for square root of 1555. 
Okay, in the end, what I'll do in order to compare to the answer in the back of the book, I think it's just easier to take it. Because on a test, I'd probably just ask you to leave it that way. Of course, you could multiply numerator and denominator by root 74. But let's just take a, uh, let's just take an approximation of that. So 1555 equals and divided by the square root of 74. And we got approximately 4.58. Okay. Now, if we did want to simplify that, we'd just multiply top and bottom by root 74. Okay, and so we'd end up with 1555 times 74. So here we'd have the square root of 115070 over 74. Okay, and I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay, that's it for this problem.